Or I guess I'll start. Um, right. So I've read the comics now. I know you said in other interviews that you don't want to add other supernatural characters. Why is that you want to concentrate on zombies and not the other ones? Um, there, there are a couple reasons for that. I mean, there, there were already, like, True Blood was doing the multiple monster universe, and that's uh, part of it. Also, what's that show, Being Human, uh, that has the werewolf and ghost, and werewolf and vampire and ghost? Anyway, so other shows were already doing that, and then I will also admit that part of it is my own weird zombie bias. I I am a fan of fake science more than supernatural. So I like zombies that were created by viruses that you can sort of that that there's at least a phony science that's explaining it, rather than sort of the curse of the mummy up from the ground uh, supernatural thing. And I and I almost don't know how to handle the supernatural. I, I feel like, and then someone casts a magic spell and everything is fixed. Or I, I'm just, and I like plenty of supernatural stuff. Just as a writer, I honestly I feel less comfortable in that supernatural world. On that note, I heard uh, a lot of fan questions on Twitter this week. They wanted me to ask you if there would be any ghosts in the next season. No, no ghosts. <laughs> no ghosts. No. I want to ask you one Veronica Mars question. Sure. I read the books. Yeah. Are we getting any more books or any more Veronica Mars? Um, they asked me to do a third book, which I said I can't do now. So, um, last season, um, trying to do the book while doing season one of I Zombie almost killed me. And I just, I can't do that again. Uh, so, if you want more... I uh, more Veronica Mars books. You have to hope for the demise of I Zombie because trying to do both those things at the same time. But here's, here's an obvious question: then. Any chance of getting anyone from Veronica Mars on guest starring on I Zombie? Uh, that we're gonna do. Uh, we're definitely uh, we've got plans for that already. So you fans of the cast of uh, Veronica Mars will almost certainly see some of their favorites uh, in iZombie. And would that be kind of meta? It, it'll be very meta. In fact, I think in episode one, one of the characters makes a Veronica Mars joke. It is super meta at that point, yeah. Oh, she's, I mean, she's fantastic. Um, and they're, they're, you know, the thing that we've learned about, I think that's been one of the, the things that we've learned in season one is that the more she eats the brains of pure archetypes, it's the easier it is for for Rose to play it and for that humor to translate. You know, there's some things like, you know, uh, play a somebody uh, with um, what's the thing I'm thinking of um, anti antisocial personality disorder, which is marked by not being. Uh, uh, not being emotionally engaged. That's a very hard thing to play, like in trying to figure out, is this Rose, uh, is this Liv's brain, or is this uh, just, uh, or, the, or the dead person's brain? It becomes very hard. As opposed to, you're on cheerleader brain. And that, that contrast is, first of all, easy for the audience to understand, and, and a bit, it gives her something more concrete to play. Uh, she's been knocking it out of the park. I think we've gotten smarter about uh, finding the, the right brain of the week to eat that will give us the most fun. So that's that's been an evolution. And she's I mean, she's great. Um, she says that you know each week getting that script, she she picks it up terrified of okay what what do I have to learn to do this week? And after doing after doing Veronica Mars, what's it like to actually move into a new realm like this and actually start sinking your teeth into something new and fresh? Uh, I, this first season of I Zombie is the happiest first season of a show I've I've ever done. It, it, it's been this remarkable thing um, that rarely happens. Um, usually, on the first season of a show, the network and studio and the creators of the show are all trying to get on the same page, and you end up butting heads a lot. You want something that they don't want creatively, um, and. 
this season has, has been a dream. Everyone kind of saw the show the same. They've been lovely to us. They're it's it's a season what, where all we have to focus on is doing the show we want to do. Certainly, they still they give us notes and um, but it but we're so close in in what we're trying to do that it's been a lovely ride and the cast it just they're great. They're it's everyone they're, they are all buddies up in Vancouver. It makes things easy. It's been it's just the smoothest ride I've ever had. It's weird because it feels like a perfectly formed first season, and it's kind of like how I felt about the Flash, where oh, yeah. your season feels so perfectly formed and perfectly produced that where do you go in a season two and how do you because season twos are always about topping the first season right. because the first season is so rough, yeah. but this is so perfectly formed. How do you go about approaching season two? Um, well, you know, to, to back up a hair, just like I'm a big believer in season finales that feel like finales, that where we build the season. You know, when, I, when we hired Robert Buckley, um, I pitched him that finale. Like, I said, this is, in that final episode, you're going to be, it's going to be like Taxi Driver. You're going to be going in there with, you know, shotguns taking out zombies. Um, so we really have a plan in mind. But, but because we do that, every season becomes a pretty big reset, and you hope you have something uh, that will excite fans. I think we do, you know, like, I, we try to, I mean, I, we've pretty much told the audience what the big season two or what one of the big season two storylines, you know, at the end of the finale or somewhere in the middle of the finale, the Steven Weber character, the head of Max Rager, says, we're going to take out all the zombies. And that that's going to be a big part of season two. And it's going to force Liv and Blaine to be very strange bedfellows uh, because they they don't want to see all the zombies taken out. Do you think it keeps things to leave one of the finger? Uh, to leave one like what I uh, as a fan of television and I love television I'm a fan of so many shows I don't think that that a finale has to answer every question and resolve every storyline but I want uh, we yeah, I feel like that season finale should give us a bunch you know you it, you should come out of it with a, a sense of satisfaction all of them except uh, Veronica Mars season three where I wanted people to be unsatisfied I I if, I still feel like if we hadn't done that, um, that there never would have been a movie. If I had tied that all up in a nice little bow, people would have been maybe sad to see it go, but I don't think there would have been uh, any urgency to see more adventures of Barack Obama. Thank you.